Circles. Like many geometric figures, a shape can only be a circle if it follows a very specific set of guidelines. A true circle is a figure consisting of points on the same plane that are all equidistant from one point at the center. Visually, a circle appears to be very different from other regular polygons and shapes because it has no sides, edges, or angles. Throughout history, the unique properties of the circle has intrigued many mathematicians, allowing them to find similarities that can be expressed in our in an equation. For example, the radius of a circle can be related to the center of the circle, along with any point on that circle. The equation can be written as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, in which x and y represent a point on the circle, h and k represent the center of the circle, and r represents the radius. Being an equation, it can be used to graph a circle on a coordinate plane or solve for the radius, center, or coordinate. Among one of a circle's many unique properties is its relationship with the tangent line. A tangent line is a line that touches the edge of a circle, but doesn't cross through it. As a result, the line always forms a right angle with the radius, allowing a right triangle to be formed from the radius or diameter. The tangent line segment and a segment connecting the two. Because tangent lines are perpendicular to the radius, the slope of the tangent line is opposite the slope of the radius in which the fraction is flipped and the sign is reversed. When the slope of the tangent line and the point of tangency are formed, the point-slope formula can be used to write an equation for the tangent line. In addition, if the two tangent lines cross, forming two points of tangency, the distance between the points of tangency and the point where the tangent line cross is always equidistant. Therefore, measurements around an inscribed circle can be formed if some measurements are already given. Circles can contain eight different parts, including diameters, chords, arcs, minor arcs, major arcs, central angles, inscribed angles, and intercepted arcs. The diameter is a line segment stretching from one end of the circle to the other, while also crossing through the center. This divides the circle into two semicircles, each with 180 degrees. A chord is a line segment that stretches from one point on the circle to another, but doesn't have to cross through the origin. Therefore, a diameter is a chord, but a chord does not have to be a diameter. An arc is a fraction of the circumference of a circle, first measured in degrees. An arc is a minor arc if it measures less than 180 degrees and is caught in a central angle, or an angle with a vertex at the center of a circle. An arc is a major arc if it measures greater than 180 degrees and is caught in a central angle. An arc is an intercepted arc if it is caught in an inscribed angle, which is an angle formed by two chords. The measure of an intercepted arc is always double the measure of its corresponding inscribed angle.